This Rotti has been here with me for an intensive day of training to turn this extreme reactivity into beautiful, loose lead, calm behavior around other dogs in different distractions and different environments. But I'm gonna show you exactly how we did that in today's video. The first step is that we had to build engagement and we wanted to do so in a low distraction environment to go right back to the foundations, to the principles of teaching basic markers with a yes, building engagement and rewarding her for looking up to me for guidance and direction. You can see, we're starting off just by building up a little bit of engagement and I just want her to start thinking these moments here where she's getting distracted and then she's starting to build. She's doing lots of air sent in. You can see when she loses focus from me, you'll notice the breathing patterns change quite a lot. You see that the body language changes quite a lot and she's very much building into Rottweiler mode. And what I want to do is get her out of Rottweiler mode and onto fun, let's work with me mode, let's engage with me mode. And then I can start bringing her down a little bit. But what we need to do is first of all, build this picture, yes. That when you focus on me, yeah, good things happen. And the focusing on me, will always result in a good thing, but I have to start by building this picture that I'm not the big, mean, bearded man that's only ever gonna challenge behaviors. I want her to understand that we're in this together and I want to work with you and that there are positive opportunities that can stem from me when you make good decisions like that. We were then able to move on to building some leash handling skills and starting to build the picture of again, work with me, be on my left side on a loose lead and good things are gonna happen. There are gonna be times where I might need to utilize the lead to communicate to you what I do want or what I don't want. But again, we want to do so in as a fun and as a positive way as possible whilst ensuring success because a breed like this that has reactivity and aggression, tendencies towards other dogs, are on a slippery slope of one mistake. It is absolutely a euthanasia type situation. So again, I've got my law here, but I'm gonna to start to phase out my law and have her more in tune with me. And because of this positive engagement work we did this morning, we're already making good idea of be here on my side and good things are gonna happen. Let's go. Yeah, good girl. Really nice, nice and in tune. Again, she's snuffling for a treat, more than happy to oblige when she's being so good. But if she starts to drift off here, let's go. I'm gonna start just feathering in. Hey, come on, stay with me. Let's keep playing this game, keep playing this game. You weren't paying attention. And I'm gonna keep her guessing and understanding that she must focus on me. The better, the more advanced stages of training sit. Yeah, good. The more advanced stages of training later on are gonna go because we're building this picture. And the reason that the nervous wreck we had at the start of the day is starting to have fun is because we're building this relationship and dogs like this, strong-willed independent dogs, thrive on leadership, they love it. So you don't see them shut down, you see them start to come out of their shell in a really positive way and it's really nice because you start to be left with a dog like this and then we're able to build on this leadership build on this engagement with better communication options for her to choose from. But again, I'm setting her up for success, not setting her up to fail. So then the next step was going back to those higher levels of distraction that we assessed her at the start of the day, where we really saw just how bad her reactivity and aggression can be. And we wanted to see whether in that environment we could still maintain the levels of leash handling skills and engagement that we built here in my center. Got cars coming back and forward, loads of people working and walking over there. There's livestock over in this field behind me and we're gonna bring dogs out any minute. But I wanna start by working on exactly what we were doing with lower distractions in my indoor facility and start to bring that back out. So again, when we assessed her this morning in this exact environment, the engagement was completely non-existent. So now I want to start doing, let's go. Let's see if we can get similar. What's this? Let's go. What's this? Good. Levels of engagement than we did inside, which already I'm very happy with these results. Ah, sit. Yeah, good girl, brilliant, lovely. He's a good girl, let's go. Brilliant, yeah, really nice. So I'm now super confident that I have a realistic expectation of her to be in this environment 
working with me, engaging with me. We've certainly not got a perfect heel command right now, but that is definitely a huge bonus. And the owner is just gonna be super happy with a dog that will walk by their side on a loose lead. For me, the next step is getting into real life scenarios and working on the problem at hand as quickly as possible to set her up for success and the happy life that she's destined to have. To do that, we had to bring dogs out and we have to be able to communicate to her when she's made a bad decision and bring her back to the desirable behavior that we've been teaching her all day. If she starts making bad decisions, I'm going to feel warranted in challenging those bad decisions and communicating to her efficiently and effectively with minimal amounts of aversion as possible to let her know, hey mate, we, we can't do that. It's far too dangerous, you get your nose trapped for you to be doing that. But when you do pay attention to me, I'm gonna give you rewards and we're gonna move together. We're gonna migrate together. And these dogs that you're terrified of that you wanna scare off and be a big mean Rottweiler, we don't need to do that. Yeah. This will probably be the rubber meets the road one. Perfect. Good. So she's so aroused now that I'll be very, very surprised. Look, doesn't want the food at all. The food she's been working for all day, completely disinterested in because she's built herself to this level of extreme arousal. So the only opportunity we have is never put her in this situation, which means never take her out or communicate to her that that isn't acceptable. Yes, we need to communicate that to her the way that we have been. That is gonna bring the intensity down so that the behavior is managed. Then when the behavior is managed, we can go through a counter conditioning and desensitization protocol where she can be in this moment more and more and more. Eventually we'll be able to start getting food back in and then we can recondition positively to this situation. But if we can never break this cycle, and challenge and interrupt that behavior, we're never gonna be able to get to a point where we can come back to the positive reinforcement-based work. The energy has come down now, this is beautiful. Never been able to get to this point with her, really nice. Yes. Yeah, good. So now earlier when she was in that heightened state of arousal, she wouldn't take food from me. But now, this is all I'm asking you to do, is just to be in this moment with me. If she checks in with me, she's gonna get rewarded. If she really ignores the dog nicely, she's gonna get rewarded. And then, this is where one of the most powerful opportunities that we have in all of canine behavior modification, which is what I call the pack migration, the decompression that happens here in these moments can never truly be understood how powerful this is. A few hours ago, this was a dog trying to eat this dog or eat other dogs. But we've unpicked that and we're all ready to start in to build this new behavioral pathway built on loving leadership. So if you're struggling with problem behaviors, just like this dog here, through to any other types of problem behaviors, subscribe to this channel. We make videos like this every single week and I can't wait to see you then.